Hey you guys, I'm about to show you how I put my rhinestone um, shoe, shoe laces on my tumblers. I forgot my one glue, the liquid fusion in the house and I don't feel like going in there and getting it. So we're gonna use my E6000, well B7000, same as E6000, just a cheaper version. And my UV resin. Okay, so let's open this up. I'm using these links. Oh, you know what? No, I'm not using those. Because I know what I want to do. I'm going to use a different kind. Different color. Where they at? I just did one last night, so <sighs> pay attention to my workspace. Don't judge me, judge your mammy. I'm a messy crafter, creator, artist, and, and I'm sensitive about my in my Erica Badu voice. Y'all gonna I'll be right back. Okay, you guys found the things finally. Because I want to put black rings on this. Come on, baby, come on, baby, come on. Man, that's been a piece of hair. It's been in my face all the day. And it's just one, so that makes it even worse. I had to get some more rings. Like, I got a bunch of silver, but. I want gold and silver and black. This was like not a good this purchase. Mm -mm. It was okay, but I need more black rings, so I'm gonna get some that just got ooh, all black and yeah. Okay, so let's get. I have three rings over here. Let me go ahead and get them out. This up, set these up, so I have them out and ready. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using if I have enough four on each side. Cause these have the shoestrings in them already. You know, where the shoestrings are in the background. I don't know. I'm gonna pull out eight. Might only use six, three on each side. We'll see. And that only leaves me with four black ones left in this little packet. Now I don't like that. So I'm gonna have to order some more, even though I'm not really, I'm not getting any sales for real. But I still like to have stuff on hand for when I need it, when I want it. Why well, my ring is bigger than that ring? This ring was bigger. Yes, it's not. 
Okay, so I only really use this other this glue right here because I don't want it to slide. So it might not even be any good. probably like you really should sand these parts where you're doing this because yeah just this glue oh I need some That's just to keep it there. So don't just slide off. I should have got it. I don't even know if I, I don't think I got a new bottle of this anywhere. Yeah, see, I don't know why that's doing that, but. That's how you know this glue, this glue old. <laughs> The lacing is different on these than the, um, oh shoot. Like I am using for press those down on there. Okay. do this. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I use a lot of, what the heck? I use a lot of UV resin on these because I've shipped them to a customer 
the little rings um the one clips and it fell off in transit i don't like that go over this again though this is just to anchor it and then I'll cure this and I'll go over it again Cause you really should sand those spots. Cause it really don't has nothing to grip onto for real. All right, let's cure this. I want to anchor these This is clear, so I'm not worried about it showing up like that. It's going to show up, but not like that. And the shoestrings will hide them pretty well. It'll hide it pretty well. Let's go to the other side. To the other side. Right. Let me make sure it's like situated where this is like straight up and it won't slide. Okay. Okay. 
got the other one on this system. Spectrum Business is made to work with big value on a small business budget. Get fast, reliable business internet with speed starting at 300 megabit per second plus a free mobile line for a year. Find incredible deals at spectrum.com slash work. Restrictions apply services not available in all areas. Make sure your links move when you're putting them on here because you don't want to try to pop them. Afterwards, make sure, because see, like, that link just now, it was like stuck. It did not move. If you try to use UV resin to uh, and like do this like this, it'll just, they'll just slide down. That's why I use some of this glue first, so that way don't they don't slide. You can actually cure these one by one because you know resin moves like until it's cured this mess that's why that see because i need to kind of slide this over i'm gonna cure these ones right now and then just keep them in place until i put the final coat on there to anchor them I'm gonna need to tilt this um and resin will cause your it will cause your stuff to move. See I need that to be straight up like that to be able to put this one on there or it just ran down the center of the cup. And I'm gonna keep it pretty much right here cure that see how that one is kind of running already and UV resin is not like regular resin epoxy like it's all epoxy but it's not the same as regular epoxy you know it's pretty runny until it sets after a few hours see that doesn't set until you put the UV light on it so like try to put it around the edge because I may have missed that okay. I'll get to the top in a minute 
I think I'm going to carry these ones right here. And then I'll do the other side. I mean the top part. Then I'll start putting the shoestring in. I'll pause and be back because you've seen what I'm doing right now. I'll pause it and be back. Okay. So we got those on. I want you to finish product for that. And now we're about to do the rhinestone shoelace. It's best to get these in the like without the tips on them. So it's really best to get those without the tips. And they come like, you know, that without the tips. And then you can cut them the size. They are sticky too, like so they're gonna be sticking together. I guess from the glue that they use for the to stick the rhinestones on the the rope. For a cup like this, I would charge about uh, fifty dollars. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I forget how I, I put these in. I'm pretty sure I do it like this, though. Cross over, opposite sides. And I cross over with the other one. I'm gonna continue doing that until I get to the top. And I'll show you guys what I do too because I like my rings to lay down. Now I don't like my rings, so I need to, like I need to make sure I have some slack, cause I'm going to actually I'm going to lay these down flat, and I'm gonna drop some resin on them. So I'm gonna drop a little resin right here. Try to figure out the best place to put this, cause. I love you like the fat kid love cake. You know my style. I say anything to make you smile. Girl, 
Okay, so I'm gonna drop a little bit of resin right here on the inside. Oh, that thing is sticky, so I gotta be careful. that down turn it's best if you had a smaller heat lamp um, uv lamp so i got this big one but i just want to cure that so that stays in place like i said i like my rings to stay flat against the cup And I won't cut them till I'm done doing this. I need to do the other side. Turn it a little bit. Tighten it up a little bit just to make sure that Let me pull this a little bit. Put a little bit. Put this over that. to do the same thing with the other one. guys can see what I'm doing. Put a little bit right there. Not a lot, just a little bit. Hold it in place. press it down this 
just want them to be gentle when they're washing it. Like, you know, hand wash, of course, can't go in the dishwasher. And, you know, shouldn't anything get on this, like, you know, on this part. But they can do, we'll scrub it with a toothbrush slightly if it does. Okay, got that part down. I'm gonna pause it, I'll be back. You see the gist of what I'm doing with the rings. I'll be back. Okay, you guys, so that's how I got the strings. And now I'm about to cut them. I'll be doing something a little bit more with these because, yeah. I'm putting them about right there. So probably a little longer because I'm going to tie them. I like to tie them. So, cut that. Cut this one. Hold that to make sure you're not is up there. I just like the knot. I have these little clips that I'm about to clip on each end. It should come with your rope, the rhinestone rope. I wish I had black, but I don't. I don't want them to face this way, so squeeze them together. You could get a tool, but they're pretty easy to, and then push this little part, this little part right here. And make sure you get that little part. Push that down. Another groove. You can use one of those pliers, needle nose pliers. I have some, but I just don't feel like getting them right now. So this is how I'm doing mine. Make sure that's in the back. Squeeze it together. that down with my nail, the little tip part. And that is basically it. Now I'm about to do a little something extra with it. But this is just to show you. So I'm going to pause it and I'll come back when the cup is. Hey guys, here's the finished product. Sorry, I got cut off from the other one. So I'll slice these together. But this is how I put my... I showed you how to put the... Uh, D rings on to attach your rhinestone shoelaces, and that is my finished product. But let me show you something real quick. So, when I use my HTV Ron, I used it on these ones, 
I didn't use my HTV ROM on this one. I used my PYD press. No ghosting on that. But when I use my HTV ROM auto press, ghosting on all of these. Like all the ones that I, I did had ghosting. But not on my uh, PYD press. No ghosting. No ghosting on that one that was used with the PYD. Um, yeah, like ghosting. <clears throat> ghosting on this one. Not a lot, but those ones back there. Ghosting. So, your press definitely matters. Alright, you guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment. Uh, those hearts I do have for sale. If you're interested, please comment. Um, they're a dollar each plus shipping. And I have some other charms also. But uh, they have to be attached. So um, I might put a tutorial up on showing how I attach those. But yeah, thanks for watching. And please comment if you have any questions. Thanks. Okay, you guys, here's the finished product. I'm going to show y'all that, oh, I messed up on the back of that, but it is what it is. Now, this was done with my PYD, my PYD um, tum tumbler press. I don't like how that's holding down like that. But anyway, this was done with my PYD tumbler press, and this was done with my HTV Bryant auto press. A lot of ghosting on this one. And I take this down really good. And it has ghosts in and all of my tumblers like this have ghosting on them. Hold on. All of these were done with the auto press. And they all have ghosting. This one don't have as much. This one has ghosting. This one wasn't, this was done with my PYD. That one in the back done with auto press. That one done with auto press. So that one done with auto press. So it's best for my tumblers anyway, for me to use the other one. So yeah. So yeah, that's how I put the things on there. All right, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment. If you have any questions, um, the hearts I do have for sale, if anybody wants to know about it, please uh, just leave me a comment, figure out how to get you the link to order them. All right, thanks.